Welcome back to our live talk and entertainment show, Virginia This Morning. Our next guest is a talented performer who started playing guitar at just eight years old and today plays the ukulele, the mandolin, the banjo, the harmonica. Plus you sing, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Tony yes. Ferris will perform for you in just a few minutes, but first we welcome him to Virginia This Morning. Tony, it's great to have you. Great to be here. When you got started at, at eight years old, mm -hmm. very young, what motivated you to pick up the guitar? Um, well, my dad played a little bit and you know, he showed me a few chords, so just kind of took it from there. Self-taught? Um, just basically, I guess. You know, learned from YouTube, learned from watching and listening to others. Okay, so you a visual learner and you yes. absorb. Yes. Now, fast forward, we, we listed all of these instruments mm -hmm. that you play today. Do those same skills translate for all of them? Um, yes, a good bit. You know, they're all fretted string instruments. It's just, um, you know, the ukulele, it's basically just a guitar capered at the fifth fret, and the mandolin's completely different tuning, but uh, actually helped a lot with um, like music theory type knowledge, which definitely help with guitar. So clearly a little bit of it comes naturally for you too, though. Yes, you seem yeah. pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, it's, it's about all I really do, so. When I came out and I was uh, listening to the rehearsal, you're also playing mm -hmm. harmonica. It yes. always just so impresses me. What is it like for you to be able to play harmonica and guitar at the same time? Well, I mean, I don't really think about it too much. It's just kind of, I mean, when I first started, it was a big hurdle to try to jump over because you're doing multiple things at once and then if you want to sing in between the harmonica stuff and it's a lot to take in or put out whichever way you want to say it but um, after a while it just becomes second nature. You're uh, opening for a lot of different folks you're playing regularly mm -hmm. at Ashland Coffee and Tea. Yes. How do you continue to grow? What inspires you? Um, just you know I meet new people and talk and play music with a lot of people and um, you know just stuff like that. We were talking a little bit about what you did over the weekend. You said you hung out with friends. Do you yeah. have particularly musical, musically inclined friends? Oh yeah, most of them are definitely musically inclined. Yeah, we'll just sit around in like a kitchen or something, start banging on the table, start making noises with our mouths, make music out of nothing and just go on from there. Everybody like the same kind of music or do you have different inspirations? Well, it all, it all ends up intertwining and we end up with some kind of Strains, who knows what genre it is, but it's fun to play. Little creative soup. Yeah. I like it. You're going to perform a song for us here in just a little bit. What's the first selection? Uh, it's an original song I made uh, called The Day We've Seen It All. Okay. Yeah. And what made you sit down and create this one? I really don't know. I think it was probably you know, in the middle of the night with too much coffee, couldn't sleep, figured I'd write a song. All right. Got some of that energy out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you right. Know. Tony Ferris, you're going to perform for us. Yes. Take it away. All right.
Once again, that's Tony Ferris with the day we've seen it all. We're so glad you got all juiced up on that coffee and made that original oh, yeah. song to share with us. Oh, Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Thank you.